Hi, I'm John Hovanesian. Along with my co-authors, Mike Jones and Quentin Allen, I had the pleasure of studying the Vividi uh, Extended Depth of Vision uh, Lens Implant through a patient-reported outcome study looking at 60 patients who had undergone uh, surgery with this lens targeting Plano in both eyes, and to then compare them against three previous groups of patients who we had previously studied using a similar uh, identical questionnaire. Uh, those were patients who had the Restore Active Focus 2.5 lens, uh, in one case mixed with the Restore 3.0 ad lens, and in another study using mini monovision with the Restore 2.5 lens. We also compared against a separate group of patients who had the Panoptics trifocal lens implant. The study focused on patient reported outcomes, and to equalize the groups, we uh, chose to eliminate patients who were not very close to the refractive target of a half diopter of sphere or three quarters of a diopter of cylinder, uh, and to um, remove any patients who had significant pathology that might confound the results. Uh, the groups were similar in terms of demographics and age, uh, and what we found in the results uh, was primarily focused on unwanted visual side effects, and the Vividi lens showed significantly fewer uh, complaints of glare and halos compared to any of the previous lenses we had studied, including Panoptics and then Restore, both uh, in combination, the 2.5 and 3.0, and then also the mini monovision group with uh, the Restore 2.5 lens. Uh, we did find that uh, spectacle independence was best in the panoptics group. Not surprisingly, that lens achieves the highest level of spectacle independence we've seen with any implant that we've studied. Um, we found that the use of spectacles for reading was lowest with panoptics and then similar uh, with Vividi as with the prior comparator multifocals, Restore 2.5 and Restore 2.5 and 3.0. Um, so that about half of patients rarely or never needed glasses with Vividi, similar to those prior lenses, although Panoptics did better in terms of spectacle independence. Um, overall, what this study showed us uh, is that satisfaction and spectacle independence with the Vividi lens is very high, comparable to prior multifocal lenses, but the advantage of this lens is far less glare and halos than we've seen with any multifocal lens that we've ever studied. So um, when sizing up patients for different technologies, the Panoptics lens may be suitable for patients who are uh, willing to put up with a little bit of glare and halos in order to have a little more spectacle independence, whereas Vividi may be for eyes that, and patients who uh, are more concerned about glare and halos, or perhaps for eyes that are less than perfect that might not be candidates for a lens like Panoptics. I'm John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.